it is very important when you judge to recognize that you have to stay impartial. That's what the nature of my job is. I have to unhook myself from my emotional responses and try to stay within my unemotional objective persona. That process can be very weighty at times, so certainly can be very awe-inspiring in others. Her excellence as a lawyer, her excellence as a district court judge, and her excellence as a human being is what has led the President of the United States to have her sitting on the second highest court in this country. Born to Puerto Rican parents, Judge Sonia Sotomayor has indeed had a wonderful life, one that began in a public housing project in New York's South Bronx. It had just been freshly painted, and there were lights everywhere, and the floor was clean, and it was the cleanest apartment I had ever seen in my three years of living. And the memory was so overwhelming of walking into this pristine environment and realizing that this was going to be our new home. And it overwhelmed me. And then I did what any child's going to do. I took my tricycle and I ran it into, or ran it, then pedaled it into my bedroom. And as I did that, I put a scratch on the wall. And I was absolutely heartbroken that I had marred this environment. And I thought my mother would kill me and I hid under the bed. Her mother inspired her. I am who I am only because of my mother and I am only half the woman that she is. Um, when I think of the adversity my mother has overcome it leaves me in awe. My mom believed that education was the key to everything in the world. If you became educated you could do whatever you wanted and accomplish whatever dreams you had. That belief in the importance of education permeated her childhood. My mother's emphasis on education gave me a feeling that I could do whatever I wanted to do. I don't know that I had a real sense of limitation until I started to realize that the world wasn't the way I saw it. That people had uh, feelings about minorities that I certainly didn't have. I didn't think of myself as a minority in the environment I was in. The community I grew up in, Hispanics predominated. Um, what was a minority? We were, we were what we were. I don't know that I had a sense of limitation until I got into the greater world and I realized that people had, saw me with limited eyes. A former schoolmate urged her to apply to a prominent university he was attending, and she was accepted. Once there, she faced a new reality. I realized that I had a real deficiency in writing, and much of it was attributable to the fact that I had spoken Spanish before I spoke English. And my written English was very complicated, and I needed to simplify it. And much of the complication was directly attributable to my Spanish language uh, dominance. For example, in Spanish, we, oh, we don't have adjectives as such. A cotton shirt is una camisa de algodón. There is an of. And I found in my writing that that's what I did. I made adjectives ofs. And so my first exposure to this was when I wrote um, Authority of Dictatorship. And the professor wrote back Dictatorial Authority with a question mark. And I realized that I had some convoluted, complex sentence structures that I had to change. And I spent most of my college days working with that one professor who started identifying some of my problems in trying to teach myself how to write. After college, she set out for law school with renewed vigor. Law school is a very focused environment. You're forced to uh, think or to learn how to think a certain way. Your classes may be in different aspects of the law, but there's still some very basic principles that you're absorbing. 
it became a more centralized place for me. And so I had more time to concentrate my energy on less tasks instead of more. After she graduated, Sonia Sotomayor worked at the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. After several years, she joined a prestigious international law firm. In 1992, she was appointed to the district court, becoming the first federal judge of Hispanic descent in New York. Six years later, she was nominated to the Federal Appeals Court. During that process, Judge Sotomayor was given a private tour of the White House. To walk through the White House, and my mind just flipped back through my life to the days I was walking in the projects and to the days I was in my schoolyard and to the times in which I was with friends and wondered where and what I would do with life. And there I was being given a tour of the White House and I felt like I was on top of the world. And I, and I was, I still am. Poor Laura and Julie felt left out because all the other female law clerks had gone. I figured then it would get back because then the men would start to complain. You know? <laughs> Today, a nationally respected jurist, she remains true to herself. All right, counsel, what are we doing today? The person I am was the person in that apartment when I was three years old. It's the person that I am at home with my friends, and it's the human being that's had my life experiences.